Well, hello everybody and welcome back to the SMB server. Now, here we are here. We're at our entrance. One thing we are going to do eventually is we're going to redecorate this. Uh, I'm going to make it like a proper mine shaft and I'm probably going to continue these supports all the way down. But for now, we're going to just head down this way. Which one will we decorate that too? But, uh, for starters in today's episode, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to the spider farm. And I uh, got this idea from the wise Mitchell on my stream the other night. So I was down here just kind of farting around on stream and I have a ton of white clay. So what I thought is, hmm, you know what, let's make the thing out of white clay. So I did. And this is what we came out with. The grossest thing ever. I know, I know. Uh, but what I'd like to do, and I think I have enough blocks to do so, is I'd like to do a spider pixel art. Now it is only a one, two, three, four, five by two, three, four, five, six ish kind of thing. I have the black stained clay and gray stained clay. And I believe if we use the gray, let me do that there, like so. And I'll use the red for the eyes. And I'm gonna be condensing this so it might look a little bit strange. Um, this here and that there. And go back to the gray. Uh, friggin' skeleton. Does this every time. It shows up right here in one of these little dark spots. So I am gonna have to put lighting in here. And I believe I checked inside there if I put, well you can see these two torches ain't do nothing to the spawning so spiders are still spawning i got torches there but the lighting has got to be somewhere in here which is why i brought these so i have one to go there and oh wait i don't have the same spot over here so maybe what i will do i hope that's my yeah it is okay we'll get rid of that maybe what we'll do is we'll put one here and do the same over here and this should negate all the spawning areas. So get rid of that, get rid of that. Don't really care about any of the other stuff. Now, how was I gonna do this? I believe, okay. Let's get rid of that, do the black. And I got this wrong. Uh, get rid of that. We go like this. Take this one out, this one out. That one out. That one out. There. And go like this and like this. And then. Um, I think. Do black there. And there. That should be pretty good. And we'll do the gray like there. And like there. And I think that's all we could really do with that. Mm. Yeah, that's sort of like the spider. A very, very condensed part. Because normally it'd be black, 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 black. I could move those just so that this doesn't look like it's a, a V. Get rid of all these here. Do the black there and there, there and there. And then do the gray there and there and there. Okay, and then we could do another row of gray up here. Looks a little bit better that way, I believe. And we should have, I hope, enough lighting. Let's go F3. We're eight, nine. Yeah, everything seems to be around eight and nine. Yeah, we're good. And everything down here. These will, uh, what should we do with these? See, I'm kind of wondering if we should do uh, sort of like the gray kind of transition into the white. And then these last two I brought to put right here. There. And you can see this thing spawns like 
crazy when we're around. Uh, the only other thing I forgot to bring with me was, oh no, I did, I brought these. Um, because what I was thinking, oh yeah, these guys over here, get rid of that, that. See, I kind of want to keep the levels a little bit different so you can separate this. Yeah, there we go. So in here, so the tricky thing is, is like if we are AFK in here, there's going to be things that are going to be able to come get us. I want to put a pressure plate here. So I brought these guys. Like so. There and... Actually, you know what? I want one for the other side. And you're like, but no, you can't put it on the other side. Yes, I can. Because... Ugh. So, barring a baby zombie coming, running this way, with this being like that, once I walk on it, it's going to shut itself. So that there... You go through, shut that, come through here, should be okay. And I have to do research to see whether or not a baby zombie can actually fit through a fence gate. I'm not 100% sure if they're three quarter block or seven eighths or a full block. I believe they are a full block. Now, the other part of this uh, episode is going to be in the nether. And we are going to go over to the uh, blaze spawner. And we're going to start digging out the whole area, but I'm going to do that off camera because you don't want to see me digging a whole bunch of netherrack out. No point. You know, I'll keep it recording in case uh, something really cool happens, like I get uh, swarmed by a ghast and five wither skeletons and all that kind of stuff. Uh, otherwise, I'm just going to skip over it and I'll bring you guys back once I've actually got the whole area cleared and I've started doing what I de my design idea is for that area. So I shall bring you guys back in a little bit. Alright guys, we're back here. Dang it, I forgot slabs. I got one last piece to put in there. I fixed up the glass there. I've been putting lights in here. I uh, finished off this entire tunnel. Uh, this was actually done during a live stream. So I got all the lighting done all the way down here. And oh my god. Look at this room. Look at how big it is. And what I started doing is I started working on a pixel art of a blaze. So it's not going to be exact because I'm not going to go out and get the wool and all that because wool and blaze don't work. I believe we have fire spread off but even with that um, not happening. Not happening. So I've been busy working over here. Um, this is actually for another project that's going to be for next episode and uh, I've just been constantly pumping this thing full of uh, nether rack and trying to get all the nether brick in the entire universe uh, you can see here we got uh, all this here uh, I should probably grab what four more there we could do these put that take that and this take that put that put that 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 and this and go right to 64 perfect and this is all the other brick that we have so we're moving along pretty quick with all this here i brought some soul sand over as well because uh, i figured what i might do over here in this big corner is i'm going to put in a uh, another work farm but what i've decided to do i have here in the ender chest I'm gonna grab those and we will do this the glass I've got in the inventory is just for the eyes. And I guess what we should do is uh, like this. Take all that out. Netter. Brick. It's just a quick way of doing it. Quicker than placing them all in there. We'll get rid of these out of the inventory. We'll get rid of this out of the inventory. This is all the clay and stone brick and everything I brought over. I brought over an extra crafting bench because I wasn't sure if I had one uh, the first time. And I ended up having one in the hallway. And I guess we can put these little bricks there. These lanterns I'm going to keep on me just in case. Because you never know. And the plan is what I'm going to do is we'll... Uh, We'll finish this little part off right here on camera and do the last little bit, but you can see just how bloody big this room is. I have no idea why I did it so big. There is no rhyme or reason why it's as big as it is. I'm not, I never planned on putting a six million block netherwork farm in here. 
And when I, what I did basically was I lined up where the um, blaze farm was, right over to here, and I thought, okay, well, the other one's over here, so we'll go to the edge of each one. That's freaking massive. <laughs> so, anyways, it goes in suit with everything else I've done on the server, so I thought, yeah, what the heck, let's just roll with it, we'll make it super huge. And um, I may do like a nether brick design on the uh, walls and uh, might even go as far as doing pixel light on the walls I'm not entirely sure but what I'd like to know from you guys is uh, your feedback on the design that I should use for the blaze farm um, because the etho design which is the one where it tapers down with pistons all along the side and everything like that um, I've done it like five times different worlds single player worlds I've done it three times I believe I've done it on the SM or STBN server twice uh, because we have a dual blaze spawner on that one as well. And I'm not sure if I want to do it again. So I know there's uh, the snow crash design with just, uh, the mine carts. Go watch the STBN episode. You'll see my thoughts and feelings on that stupid design. Um, I don't know if it was the server I was on or what it was, but the design was completely useless. Uh, the blaze would aggro each other, and then what they would do is they would shoot everything, they would blow up the mine carts, and then you just have a bunch of blaze floating around inside a cage, and they wouldn't go anywhere. Uh, also, what would happen is uh, near the top where the drop-off point was, um, they would all get bunched up, and they would just sit there. They wouldn't uh, shake out of the minecart because it uses the uh, minecart. Oh boy. It uses the activator rail for the minecart to shake the, the blaze out of the minecart. The only problem is, half the time it would go up there, it wouldn't activate the rail. Or what would happen is a blaze would actually escape. And uh, so where it got sh shooken out, instead of going down the tube like it was supposed to it would move over to the side where the minecart was and it wouldn't actually allow the minecart to move so the minecart would just keep back bouncing back and forth on the activator rail and stay there forever so again the entire unit would fill up they would aggro each other shoot explode all the minecarts and you're forever going inside with invisibility potions and fire resistance trying to fix it so i don't want to do that I know there's one by Mizuma Games. He has one, which seems like a pretty cool design. I might do that, but I'm also um, open to new ideas. I was thinking of a slime block piston shover thing that would basically go across. The only problem is with that, once it gets here, it has to go back, so it's going to push the blaze back here. But that's where the unit's going to be. So it's kind of a difficult designed to use when you're dealing with blaze especially since they float uh, i tried pushing them with lava they actually sit in moving lava so that's not a thing we could do um yeah so if you guys want to let me know give me some ideas of uh, different things you've tried or and it doesn't have to be super uber efficient doesn't have to get me six billion experience and 20 million blaze rods i don't care I'm looking for something that uh, you can AFK at for a little while, collect XP possibly, or you can just kind of stand there and they collect in the central point. Because what I'm looking for is, since I have these both so close together, and if I stand like right here, I think it's right here, there's that one and that one. So probably right around here. If I was to stand on that, that would be my AFK point. I'd like to be able to bring them over to this area, if possible. Like I said, lava doesn't work. You can't push them with water in the nether, so you know, the damage effect and then having them just drop the blaze won't work. I need a different idea. So if anybody has any ideas as to how I could do that or whatever, let me know in the comments down below or you know, contact me somehow and let me know what your thoughts are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play around with this design a little bit off camera see if I can come up with something that I like with the pixel art and then um, I'll bring you guys back because it's kind of a weird size overall 
But uh, I'll bring you guys back once we actually get this one done, and then I'll do the other one with you guys on camera just so you can see how the whole thing's put together. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, everybody, we're back here in the Blaze area, and there's the really derpy looking <laughs> Blaze. It's the best I could do with what blocks I had. Now I just threw some of these over here. I don't know why, but hey. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy out what we have. And uh, I did a few more things. I raised this up here because I was getting attacked by Blaze on, or Blaze, by uh, the zombie pigment. So I wanna fill that in completely so nothing else can get in there. I will make an entrance, uh, whether I go through the stairs right here, because this here will lead right out to the opposite side there. Hey, look. And maybe put a door or something like that in there, I don't know. Uh, we'll figure that out at a later date. As for right now, that's not a concern. What we want to do is we want to finish this off right here. So, I've got things all set and planned out. I have the um, the whole top of that all done, all the sides done. The only thing left, I guess, for the yellow is to go around the bottom. How many did I go down in here? Just one? Yeah. And then uh, what we can do, I still want feedback from you guys on... Um, what you think a good design is for um, killing the blaze because I do want um, again it doesn't have to be super duper efficient it's um, it's just for me basically right and I mean if we ever got to a point where it was like holy crap we really need blaze spawner um, or blaze rods on the server then I could easily convert it over and you know go to an uber efficient design but for right now it's not uh, super important for me to get uh, six billion different blaze rods so if you have any ideas for designs just let me know uh, leave a comment down below and say hey this is the best thing I've ever seen or this is the best thing I've ever used and damn it I just realized I'm forgetting a one block so it's gonna change that one right there is gonna be red for right now and then we'll have to edit that out right now so basically all it was is just a two wide of this here and then we go across here like so. Now this is the one that's gonna change. This will be the uh, hardened clay. We got that there, we go there, there, put that right there, directly up here, we go across, and then uh, we need the light gray, which is that, and I don't think it's black, it's brown actually. So we do light gray there, do brown there, gray there, brown, brown. That part is done. And we head up here for the eyes. Super expensive eyes. Quartz. Oh my god. Now, two right there. Black right there. Those two. Those two. And we are officially done this oops and yeah let's just clear this out for now don't need that or you there we can change that other one out like I said a little bit later on once we get it all figured out so we got our derpy blaze and it was weird I did the um, two so I had uh, four pieces of the quartz and four pieces of the black it looked like one of those um, crying anime kind of things and really didn't work that well. So now all we gotta figure out is what we're gonna do here. Like I said, there's one design by Mizuma Games that I was checking out that uh, looks to be pretty cool to be honest with you. I may go something with something like that. Uh, it is sort of like an AFKable one and uh, not really what I'm looking for to be honest with you. But um, relatively new design, something that's not really been done a whole lot and it's kind of what I'm looking for. You know, I don't really need something that's uh, completely bonkers, you know what I mean? Now, uh, I think I'm gonna leave this stuff here. I have um, plans for the area, but I don't know exactly what the plans are. I think what I'll do, I'll put those there and go there, 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 and there. And there. I need that one. This here can go away, and everything else I believe can stay here. 
Uh, if you have design ideas for in here as well. Oh, the other thing I did do uh, was I covered up the back area all along the top there, all along the side is all done except for those two blocks there. And then like I said, we're gonna cover that area over there. Now I believe one thing I do need since I'm here is I'm gonna grab one more of those. This, switch over to this. There's a spot missing at the top of the stairs and it bugs me every time I come running down the stairs at the beginning, I can actually see it. I'll go, come on, man. There it is, there. So I needed that for that and this goes right here. I finally finished off that pillar. Uh, I keep saying it in live streams and everything. So I finally got that all set and done. Um, but I do want to get a, a way into here because um, I may convert that area into a weather farm and potentially even that area there with the, uh, the nether rack on it because there's always ones on that roof and on the one that's over there. So I don't know, we'll look into that. Now I know for next episode, what we're gonna be working on probably two or three different things depending upon how the episode goes. Uh, the biggest part of the project is gonna be here, all this. So this entire thing all the way back to the base and uh, well from the blaze farm all the way to the base this entire bridge i'm going to cover over with orange glass and glowstone so that's going to be a huge project uh, i think i figured out about four thousand blocks uh, it's probably going to take about 20 20 no not 20 probably about five stacks of glowstone so i may end up having to go on a hunt for some of that as well and uh, we'll just have to kind of run around until we get all that. And within the next, uh, say, three or four episodes, I'd like to st get started on the top part of my base back at the... Um, oh, crap. How did you get up there? It's pretty badass, dude. Like, good for you. GG. Uh, yeah, back at the Ocean Monument, I'd like to start the base on the top level uh, because a lot of it is uh, what the hell is with these guys spawning up near the top of this that's why I want the glass on it uh, so up here this chest that I have actually has the glass that I'm going to be using I've got more coming and this may or may not be enough glowstone uh, I think I might need more than that I finally was able to put the andesite in there so I know I, I needed it uh, yeah, so I want to start the top part of the base back at the Ocean Monument. Uh, that in itself is going to be huge build. Um, I don't want to go too, too hard into it. You know, like I'll spend uh, part of an episode doing the base to it. Uh, part of another episode building up the sides. Uh, another part putting on, well, probably two or three parts putting on the roof. Or I might just do a lot of that off camera. Uh, one other part... We got to finish this up here. I want to put the brick all the way up to the top. Once we get to the top, we'll just decide on a design that we can use for that. Um, yeah, so I've got quite a few ideas that I want to be working with here. And get rid of you. Uh, the other part in the next episode is we got to start getting uh, sheep. I want to take two sheep, two cows over to the base. So we got to find a way to get them over there. Kind of wish we had 1.9 boats where you can put them inside it, but for right now, I think I'll spend the time to uh, a piece of wheat, grab two of these guys, two of those guys, yank them over there, and um, I don't know how I'm going to get them down. Probably have to do a three-wide path to be able to get them in. I uh, got the glass going in there, and uh, what is the other part we're going to do? Let's see, we got the animals. Oh yeah, we're gonna work on a smelter over there. A different design, um, something similar to what Etho did on Hermitcraft where you could throw things into a fire and it would get taken and put in. And I'd like to do a pixel art of a furnace that you can actually put items into the furnace. And then, um, or maybe not items, but coal or blaze rods or something like that for the fuel and then have items get thrown into the fire to go into the furnace. But we'll figure that out in the next one. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been a ton of fun. I love being on the server. And if you did enjoy this episode, be sure to hit the like button. It really helps my channel grow. And if you want to see videos every single day, be sure to hit the sub button as well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.